Well, you are about to witness the destruction of a perfectly good $400 or thereabouts fiberglass hood. I gotta cut a hole so I can fit that scoop through it. Hang on for the ride. Okay, this is how you install a hood, how a one person install can go or not go. It's a good thing this is fiberglass. That's nothing. Set it on the hood supports. What I do is I bolt on the bottom. Okay, that'll at least stabilize it, keep it from falling over. It also helps if you're wearing trifocals, you can take them off if you have to see up close. Okay, so that's snug. Okay, pretty much on here now. I have to take my hood pins out. Being that I'm a bit of a, a hack and I'm absolutely no body man here, I am very comfortable with the way I set the hood. Just a matter of lowering it. Looks like I might have to take those corners off. Yeah, those corners have to come off, unfortunately. So we'll take so off. the intake off, or at least the car, the throttle body's off here, just to get some clearance to see how this thing goes. And you know, couldn't get any better than that. Off initial, push this down. You got your adjustments on the inside. It's just a matter of lining it up. Ah, oh, what do you figure? It was way too easy. Okay, so I'm gonna pin the uh, do the pins right now. So in order to get these pins lined up with the hood, I just basically got them set in here at level. I'm not too worried about height right now. Just level. I take this mat, this paint stick, get it good and wet. Uh, find a place here. It helps if you have one that's got ink in it, get some paint in it, and there we go. Basically dab the point and the point, and quickly lower the hood, press it down, and I got white pen, white point there and one point there. So. Wipe these off, wipe these off, that, and then basically I'll just drill holes through, use a bigger hole so you can move things around a little bit still, and um, yeah, and then put the, uh, the kit on there. I got another kit there with the, uh, the chrome surround on it. So, that's it. Okay, I'm ready to take the hood off again. I've cut it, or I've marked it at least. Um, as to where I want to cut and there's rough drawings there um, but at least it gives me a bit of a guideline as to where I need to be uh, I guess with these engines and these cars the engine doesn't set center so it's going to be a little off center as you can see with the one line that I got marked in there um, let's see if we get that in focus there we go and that's just going to be it is what it is uh, the elongated holes for the hood for the Kind of did that, the same as on the other one. Um, 
And that's it is what it is there too. Uh, I say I ain't no body man here, and then that's what the uh, the pin surround there, collar, whatever the hell you want to call it. So off she comes. Okay, got my cutouts marked on here. I'm clear on the uh, on the stand. So I've got a radius. I've got a small wheel here for the radius. And I'll use a bigger wheel for the straight lines, straight cuts. If I do screw this up, then I'll wind up just making a square. But ideally, I'll get it done. So let's give her a go here. It is off center a bit, but that's just kind of the way the engine sits, and not much I can do about it. This is where it could be minus 20 out, and I could be sweating. And I'm sweating now, so I'll have a rip. Here. That cut seemed to go all right. Okay, well, I got myself a little bit of protection here. A little bit too much for my liking. Now, I'll go ahead and finish this off here. Okay, so the hood's on, wind it up, pretty good as best I could there, we'll see. Now I haven't closed this off yet, or closed this hood yet, this is the first, so you're going to be a witness to my successor demise here. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the finished product. I mean, the paint, the hood still got to get painted, but this is basically what it is. So, I'm pleased. Didn't break anything. Still have a half decent looking hood. Best of all, I did it myself. And I didn't destroy anything in the process.
there you go thanks for watching tune in next time